Well, already I hope you liked that previous video, giving you a little bit of primer on tables and partitions and some examples. And uh, we're gonna get in now creating a table in our Intro to Cassandra for Developers and Crash Course. This is video four of seven. Uh, again, there is a link in the video details. All we're really doing, notice that hash to create a table, we're just leading you to the anchor, right? Um, but if you didn't see that, all you need to do, if you remember we were over here before, we're just going to section two, create a table. Now, at this point, our killer video cluster should be nice and active, right? Our database should be active. It should be ready to go. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Um, first thing is you want to go to your database. So we're just going to click on it. I'm clicking on kill the video cluster and we're going to the detail page for that particular database. Now I want to go to SQL console, right? I'm going to click on that. That's what we're talking about right here. It's going to automatically log you in. Boom. Now you're ready to go. Okay, so the first command that we want to issue here, and by the way, you can just copy these where it says command execute. You can just pop it right off the page. I'm going to put that in here. We're describing our key spaces. That's what that means. We want to look at all the key spaces that we have in our database. Now, remember, we created one called killer video. So it's right there, ready to go. Now, if I were to start just issuing commands, it wouldn't probably do me much good at this point. What I want to do if I scroll down and go to the next one here is use. I'm going to tell the console I want to use the killer video key space. I want to put the console in the context of the killer video key space. Now I can just start issuing SQL commands uh, against it. I could have technically done that without the use command and fully qualified all of my SQL commands, but we're not going to really worry about that. I just wanted you to be aware of the use keyword and what it does. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down to create or step 2C, create the users by city table. Now this should look a little bit familiar uh, because if you've been following along in the crash course, you would have already come across this particular example. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab this and we're going to create our table. So again, remember using SQL, this is create table. So we're going to say, okay, I want to create a table if it doesn't exist called users by city. Here are my fields. Here are the types, right? So these all happen to be text. And then I'm going to set my primary key, set my city as the partition key, last name, first name, and email are clustering columns. Now, if I describe tables, right? Because before I didn't have any. Oh, look, now I have a users by city table because we just created it. And that's it. I mean, <laughs> the exercise is pretty simple from that standpoint, right? I just wanted to get you a feel of using a little bit of the CQL and what that does. So now you've gone, you've described your key spaces, you've used the killer video key space, you created a table, and you use describe tables to show you any of the tables that you have. That is the end of this particular exercise. Uh, so go ahead, go on into the next video, and then we will see you back here to execute some CRUD operations.